everyone, it's Serenity. Uh, with the new year starting and a new page, what better way to show off some new things I got um, as far as a witchy kind of book slash calendar haul. Um, first thing I want to show you is I got the Witch's Date Book for 2013. I don't get these every year. Um, I got, they put out one last year. Uh, well, they put them out every year. I didn't get last year's, but I did get the year before. And basically what this is, is there's um, the month and the date. And then, for example, um, this one talks about the cold moon. Um, and in July, they talk about uh, there's different recipes, like there's a peach drink you can make. Um, they talk about Maybon and what Maybon is and special like things you can do for it. So it's just the the wheel, the calendar of the year basically, and different ideas and things you can do on here's Ostara. So this is always kind of a, a fun, neat thing to have. Um, so starting over new, starting a new year, I decided to go ahead and get the new uh, date book. The other thing I got was the 2013 Witch's Companion. It talks about uh, the path to living the old ways. Um, it talks about, for example, it says in here, when Samhain is not Halloween is one thing you can read about. Again, they have these books come out yearly, uh, and they have all kinds of different information in it. Sometimes I do uh, purchase it. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I might skip a, a couple years. So it just depends on how I'm feeling. Um, other chapters in this book are, for example, Crystal Magic, Jingle Bells and Witches Spells. So there's just all kinds of great information. This one was $10.99 and I can never pronounce the author's name correctly. It's I don't even want to try, but you all know the name. Um, I'm not even going to get tongue-tied on that one. And then this Witch's Date book was also $10.99. And I like it because it's binder style, so it's real nice, easy to flip through. There's also a lot of room that you can actually take notes and whatnot. So these are actually really helpful, just lots of information. But one thing in your practice that I can't state highly enough is you don't have to, and I hear a lot of people talking about this type of thing, you don't have to go out and purchase a lot of different tools to um, do your magic or whatever, wherever you're trying to go with it. Your magic is also a part of you. You don't need all these things to um, help you along the way with your magic. What I'm trying to say is your magic is within. So um, if you believe that, then there you go. Here is the Woodland Fairies candle calendar. I got this last year, so I wanted to get a new one. And I'll just kind of show you a couple months. This is January. It's really beautiful illustrated artwork. I See, this is the type of artwork that I'm talking about. If you watch my last video on the Witch's Tarot deck, this is the type of like artwork I like on my cards, not like pictures of human faces, but it's still a really beautiful deck. Uh, let's see. Let's look for February. February, that one's beautiful with all the butterflies and everything. March. April. I hope you can see this because sometimes my flip, uh, I'm not holding it up correctly and it's hard for me to tell because I can't see, like when some people are recording they can see themselves. I can't see myself, I can't see anything I'm showing you until I replay the video. So hopefully it's working and turning out right. Um, this one is the blue moon. This is a beautiful one. I'm going to skip a couple. 
just because I don't know how much time I have left on my battery. This is September. Love, love, love this one. I love anything that has to do with angels, angel wings, fairies, anything like this. I just have always really felt connected to angels and fairies and whatnot. And this is October. This is absolutely gorgeous. And October is my birthday month, so there you go. <laughs> it says Daughter of Avalon. And November, the illustrations in here are just simply gorgeous. And this calendar was $13.99. Now that we're in December, um, it's a little bit more expensive, like before the new year starts. But after the new year, you can also find this calendar on sale on certain websites as far and also the Witch's Date Book and whatnot because they go to clearance because it's a calendar. So it's going to go down in price as the months progress. So, And this is the artist. Her name is Linda Ravenscroft. And it talks about her in the background. Everybody's pretty much heard of her, though. So, um, I have something else to show you. And this kind of uh, talks about who I am a little bit um, as a person. I'm a very spiritual person, but I still, I still sell celebrate holidays and everything the Christian way. I don't necessarily go to a Christian church. Um... I don't do things, uh, I'm not very religious is what I'm trying to say. So this is the book that I am reading right now, and this really resonates with me. It's called The Path of a Christian Witch, and a lot of people don't understand the concept, but I'm telling you, if you get this book and you're questioning who you are, your religion, for me, I believe there's something out there. I'm not sure... I, I believe that there's truth in all kinds of religions. I have not, I'm not one to say I'm Wiccan or I'm Pagan, um, but I do believe that there, that I am, I am a very spiritual person is what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm very instinctual. I will not say intuitive because I like the word instinctual. Um, but let me read the back of this, okay? It says, I am a Christian witch. I cast circles and design spells of burning incense and gemstones bright. I follow the teachings of Jesus, his message of love and compassion. A unique mixture and how to that includes practical daily rituals. That inspiring book shows how one woman blended Christian traditions with the magic and way, the magic and beauty of a Wiccan practice. Raised in a Catholic faith yet strongly drawn to paganism, Adela St. Clair spent many years questioning and soul-searching before she found a way to blend aspects of Wicca and Christianity into a vibrant and loving belief system. Filled with personal antidotes, this book tells the story of St. Clair's journey of self-discovery and revelation, from her initial fear and guilt to her ultimate sense of peace and joy. With warm and heartfelt reverence, St. Clair discusses vital aspects of witch witchcraft and Christianity as well as commonalities between the two. This book totally resonated and called out to me because my whole family celebrates the Christian way. We are not religious, don't go to church type of thing. But I've, I've always kind of felt like something's missing a little bit in my life because, again, I am a very spiritual person. And this book resonated to me because I kind of felt like I was going against what I was raised against. But then I have that tug and that pull to something that I really feel close to and connected to. So um, for me, uh, I've been delving and researching into all kinds of religions for probably, gosh, the past five years or so. And um, more on my spir spiritual side keeps pulling and tugging me towards... Um, paganism. So uh, I haven't made a commitment to anything yet, um, but I'm going to start reading this book. Like I said, it, I was really drawn to it. A lot of people don't agree with the path of a Christian witch, um, but 
it is how you feel, and I believe you don't have to go to a church to pray. You can pray in your own home. Um, if you're living a good life and you're not, you know, committing crimes and you're um, a good person in general, you know, you're going to get rewarded for that. Um, if, there, if there is a god out there, a goddess, how can they um, punish you if you're doing everything right? At least I want to believe that. So I, I am a very spiritual person, and um, yeah, so this book I was really drawn to. So I'm going to read it, and then I will tell you what I think about it. So I don't want any haters on my page, so if you see me or talking about this and now you're like, oh my gosh, you have so much to say and yada, 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 I'm not going to comment. I'm not going to respond. It's what I believe in and what I feel. It's about me. It's not about you. I'm just sharing my views and expressing how I feel to maybe help somebody else that might be conflicted like I am. So, um... And that's that. I don't need anyone to try and tell me that, oh, you're doing something wrong. This is how it has to be. It's not how it has to be. It's how I feel and how I maybe want it to be. I've done a lot of research and studied a lot about different religions. Um, and for me, if I hate it when people say paganism or Wicca is about the devil. It's not about the devil. It's no different than somebody... Um, that is a Christian that um, is doing harm and doing something wrong. It's just how you go about it is what I'm trying to say. You can be pagan or Wiccan and be a fabulous person in life and be a good person to look up to um, and have lots of positive things in your life. Just because you believe in something, that doesn't make you a bad person. Um, one thing that is kind of funny that has always resonated with me when people say, oh, the pentacle is evil and all that. Well, hello, people. What kind of uh, badge do our police officers wear? They wear a star. So you can think of it that way. Their symbol of being a police officer, they're wearing a star. So, I mean, you know, it's all about how you live your life and how, about, and how you go about the things you do. If you're a positive person and you put out positive good energy and you're generally a good person in life, then there is nothing wrong with what you do or what you believe in. It is your life and you live it how you want to. So that is my message to anyone that is conflicted and going through this. I highly suggest you get this book. There's also another really good one called um, In the Broom Closet. You can find that on, or I did a review on my other page, um, and you can find that on, on my other page, too. If you just put in the search bar, uh, in the broom closet, I'm sure a lot of stuff will come up, because about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, a lot of people on the YouTube in the YouTube community uh, were talking about that book, and it really resonated with a lot of people, too. Because most of us that find this path, they are conflicted. So, anyways... Just something personal I'm sharing with you. Um, I haven't committed to anything. I'm just living my life how I want to. And again, as long as I know I'm a good person and I'm doing things right for my family and doing things the way that I feel like I should be doing them and I feel good about myself, that's all you really need. So, And don't let anyone tell you any different that you're wrong. All right? So everyone have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.